Welcome, 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 welcome. This is Sven Malepist, and I'm going to show you Microsoft Expression Design for a quick tutorial how to start the drawing in this beautiful, amazing software. Because this software is like a vector graphic design, and it's pretty much artistic, easy going, and very simple. So, uh, as usually, we are starting just by opening new project. Um, let's call it Canvas. We are in like a clean, white, plain piece of paper. And we have a uh, many uh, tools on the left and on the right. It looks like um, typical uh, graphic uh, visual software. So um, here we will be using uh, a paintbrush, just clicking here, and we can choose appearance. Appearance is like you can have a fill color and you can have a stroke. So we, we can choose, for instance, blue uh, fill color and let's say um, orange uh, stroke, and we can choose different brushes here there's so many brushes but uh, let's choose one of uh, acrylic and we can change also here the size so just a simple line and it's dynamic so when i press more or less so we can see different shapes uh, yeah looking like this i can press more more and more Anyways, you can see all of those uh, lines, they consist of many points. So I can se select, choose one of those lines and I can delete uh, what I don't like it. I can just click here and delete it. So uh, they are not like a one painting. I, I can select all of them just like this and I, I can scale them easily so this is beauty of vector uh, graphic uh, software i can easily change transform scale and i can play with all of those details on many possible levels and also if i don't like the shape here i can change it to different appearance like this pretty much easy i can do the same like global change to let's say let's choose oils or maybe let's choose different brushes and also we can change globally here the width so it's wicked I think the potential of this software it's amazing because it's not a piece of paper you can play on the multiple levels of your imagination and you can quickly change your mind and I'm really impressed I was impressed first time when I saw this software many years ago it wasn't Microsoft it was absolutely different company um, and that company, <laughs> I uh, now I I will not tell you the name of this original software, but maybe next time. Also, you can just type a text here, like uh, the sunny day is over, and you can play. It could be like a book by Span Malafist. So, uh, yeah, the text could be whatever you want. My favorite font recently is Poor It. <laughs> it's so cute. 
it's so elegant in my opinion um, but it's up to your imagination it's up to your what what's your favorite font doesn't really um, I think it should be consistent somehow and um, the, so maybe just a bigger a sunny day and yeah we'll make a little break so I'll just transform it yeah so this could be your text editor <laughs> if you want to create like a CV well, title actually should be connected somehow to, um, to the sun the sunny day is over well I'm not a good in drawing <laughs> I'm just playing with software to show you how cool is that and I hope you guys can do whatever you want with this mm. <laughs> it's so surreal in my opinion it's so surreal well <laughs> even like this or maybe the title in the middle yeah <laughs> Ooh. Ah, oh. the title in the middle. Right, so uh, uh, mm, transformation tool, it's not like in Photoshop and I'm just struggling, but I can do, uh, I can undo this stuff. I can actually select it. Yeah, I now, yeah. So, um, at the end, you can save it uh, to your desktop, quick access. We have here a proper folder called Portfolio, and there's art, so I can call it Sunny Day is Over, it's saved. And we can export it. So it could be PNG or it could be even PSD. Yeah, this is pretty much insane. Same layers and layers. Okay, whole document. Export all. Is it done? 